Hello. So if you've been following this channel for a little bit, and if you have, by the way, thank you, uh, you might remember earlier this year when we took a look at cloud-based DVRs or digital video recorders. We went over how they work and how they're different from hard drive-based options. Well, this week I thought it might be a good idea to dive a little deeper into some of those hard drive-based DVRs and see what they can do these days. To help, I've got a couple models here. On this side, it's Amazon's Fire TV Recast DVR. This one boasts one terabyte of onboard storage. And over here, it's Tableau's Dual Light DVR. This particular model is a bring your own storage version and I've outfitted it with a USB hard drive. They're both over the air DVRs and in this video, we're gonna go over how these OTA DVRs work and how you can get the most out of them. This is five things you should know about over the air DVRs. All right, before we dive in any deeper though, I'd like to point out one thing. Uh, both the Recast and the Tableau Dual Light were provided to Cord Cutters News from their respective companies, Amazon and Tableau. So thank you for that, by the way. Uh, to be clear though, neither company sent these to us with the expectation we'd cover them in a video. But now that we have them in-house, we thought why not explore this category of devices a little bit further? So with that in mind, let's dive into OTA DVR, shall we? Number one, what is an OTA DVR? Well, that's a great first question. So yeah, let's start right there. OTA DVR stands for Over the Air Digital Video Recorder, and they let you schedule, record, and rewatch live TV programming. As the name implies, OTA DVRs, including the two we're discussing today, focus on over-the-air broadcasts, meaning TV channels you receive via an over-the-air source, most likely an antenna. Depending on the brand and model you choose, OTA DVRs can often support recording multiple shows or movies at the same time. And again, depending on the model, they can often stream that content to other devices you own. So for example, with live sports returning, if you want to re-watch a recent basketball game, an OTA DVR can help. And unlike cloud-based DVRs where recording and actual storage happens off-site in some massive facility somewhere, the DVRs we're looking at today use onboard or local storage to store your recordings. Number two, what do you need to use one? So again, the specifics can differ depending on the model you choose, but generally you're gonna need a couple of things. At the very least, you'll need an over-the-air source, like an indoor or outdoor antenna. Now, if you haven't taken a look lately, it's worth seeing which type works best for your given location, as there are a couple of key factors to consider. Those include your home's distance from transmitting stations, the surrounding geography, and more. We'll have a link in the video description down below where you can find out more about recommended antennas for your area. For Amazon's Recast, you'll need a Fire TV device in order to watch recordings on a TV, but the Recast can also stream to Echo Shows or mobile devices. Meanwhile, Tableau's line of OTA DVRs also require an antenna so you can receive OTA channels. It's definitely worth considering the amount of storage you think you'll need. Amazon's Recast, for example, comes in 500 gigabyte and one terabyte flavors, and the company estimates you'll be able to record 75 or 150 hours respectively. On the other hand, Tableau offers dual and quad DVRs, offering two or four tuners respectively, with and without included hard drive storage. So if you want to save a little money and or repurpose an external USB hard drive you might have lying around, you might opt for their hard drive free models, but just know you'll have to bring your own storage. Number three, what do they like to set up and use? Well, let's find out, shall we? Out of the box, both the Recast and Tableau DVRs keep things relatively simple with just the main DVR unit and power cable making up the majority of the contents. Both also come with printed instructions, and the Tableau Dual throws in an Ethernet cable as well. But for the most part, the components list out of the box is refreshingly light. On the back, the similarities continue with both units sporting a coaxial input for the OTA antenna, a USB port, and an Ethernet jack. As for setup, both models we're looking at today are rather straightforward. The cable from the antenna hooks into the coaxial connection, the power cord goes into the power port, and away you go. If you want to hook directly into your router, look for an Ethernet cable on the DVR to make that connection. Amazon makes setting up the recast a more or less painless affair. Even if you don't have a Fire TV device hooked into your TV at the moment, you can still set up the recast entirely via mobile app, like we did with an iPhone 11 Pro. Just add a new device via the Fire TV app and select the recast. 
At that point, the app walks you through step-by-step -step instructions for how to get your recast up and running, including placement tips for the antenna if you haven't nailed that part down just yet. Next, you briefly connect your mobile device to the recast onboard Wi-Fi network, and then you can connect the recast to your actual everyday network. If needed, the recast will install updates, and then your app should eventually display setup progress as it accesses your antenna, finds available channels, and so on. Once ready, your app should show a scrollable list of what's currently on the air, and you can quickly select programs to watch and record. On the Tableau side, setup is pretty similar. Just plug in the antenna and, if needed, an external hard drive. Setup via Wi-Fi is also similar to the recast, where you connect to the DVR's Wi-Fi connection and then use an app to connect it to your network. Alternatively, you can plug it into your router directly via Ethernet cable, and it'll start walking you through setup and downloading updates if needed. Once it's set up, you can view a live TV guide to see what's currently on the air and select specific shows to record. You can also add some recording settings to fine tune things like recording only new episodes or starting the record a tad early or late. Number four, can you watch recordings elsewhere? Indeed, again, it depends on what brand and model you're going with, but let's take a look at what the Recast and Tableau Dual Light can do. On the recast side, in addition to viewing your TV via a required Fire TV device, you can also watch recordings on an Amazon Echo Show. That can be handy if you have such a device in another room, like say, a kitchen. Beyond that, you can also watch recordings on other Fire TVs connected to the same network, such as an upstairs TV. You can also watch programs on compatible mobile devices, including Android and iOS smartphones and tablets. For those mobile options, you can watch via Wi-Fi or cellular data, though keep in mind that latter option will eat into your mobile data usage. Over in Tableau land, you can stream to smart TVs, streaming devices, and mobile devices on the same network. There's also something called Tableau Connect that allows you to stream outside your home. That feature is part of Tableau's subscription plans, and we'll get into that a bit more next. Number five, any limitations? Well, yes, keep in mind that you're still dealing with OTA broadcasts here. And if you typically struggle with certain channels, perhaps at a certain time of day or during inclement weather, then recording from those channels could be dicey as well. Also, if you plan on watching recordings on screens aside from your main TV, you should check out which DVR works best with your given setup. For instance, the Fire TV Recast works on Android and iOS devices, but there's no Roku Fire TV app, so it might make more sense if you're already invested in Fire TV streaming devices. Meanwhile, Tableau does have a Roku app, as well as apps for Fire TV, Apple TV, and more. I should also mention, you can use the Tableau Dual DVR just fine without a subscription. However, some of its niftier features, like out-of-home streaming, require signing up for a plan. That out-of-home feature, again called Tableau Connect, is available on iOS and Android mobile devices, web browsers, Android TV streamers, and Fire TVs. At the moment, though, there's no Roku or Apple TV support for Tableau Connect, so you won't be able to, say, bring a Roku streaming stick on a trip with you and watch your recordings on the road. Though, again, other devices will work with the feature. Of course, the Fire TV Recast and the Tableau Dual are just two options if you're interested in OTA DVRs. Elsewhere, DVR pioneer TiVo offers the Edge for Antenna that offers OTA recording and streaming apps all in a $200 device. Silicon Dust also has the HD Home Run Scribe series of OTA DVRs. Bonus question, what about ATSC 3.0? Aha! Great question. So yes, a number of large market broadcasters are making the transition to a new broadcasting standard known as ATSE 3.0. And while any OTA antenna you pick up today should work just fine with the new standard, you'll need ATSC 3.0 compatible tuners to receive those next-gen signals. However, even with these initial markets adopting ATSC 3.0 in 2020, they'll still need to broadcast for five years using the existing ATSC 1.0 standard. So devices like the DVRs we're looking at today should serve you well for several more years into the future. And of course, as more and more ATSC 3.0 hardware starts coming to the market, we'll definitely take a closer look at those as well. In all, I hope this shed some light on what OTA DVR are and what they can do. If you haven't paid attention to this class of devices in a while, you might be surprised at what they're capable of these days. In any case, thank you so much for watching, and as always, we'd certainly appreciate it if you click those all-important like, and if you haven't already, subscribe buttons. Both of those are huge helps that enable us to bring you more content in the future. 
Speaking of, if you'd like us to dive a bit further into the recast and or the Tableau Duel in the future, perhaps via full-on reviews, let us know in the comments below. For now though, thanks again for tuning in. My name is Philip Palermo. Happy streaming and happy recording. Take care.